This is my new dual PC streaming setup, and I wanted to walk you through and show you how I set everything up from the camera setup, the audio setup, the software, and the new Elgato 4KX, which is what made this entire setup possible. Recently, I tried playing Pal World on my Twitch stream, and it was a goddamn mess. I don't know what the f is wrong with Pal World, but that game has been the most difficult game to stream I've ever had in my entire life. My streams have been super laggy. It's been nothing but drop frames and stuttering, and that probably has to do with the fact that I have over a hundred scenes in OBS. Just OBS alone uses like 30 to 40 percent of my GPU, and that's before I even hit the start streaming button. But plus, I got a 3080 Ti. It's not like I got some like peasant setup. In fact, let me actually show you my setup and talk about what my goals are and what I want to accomplish because what my needs are are probably very different to what your needs are. So, this is my stream room over here. We've got the mega stream desk. So, this is where I do all my gaming, editing special nutty time, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This desk I pretty much just use for recording YouTube videos. What's important to note is both desks have their own camera and microphone setup. So I got a camera here, camera there, microphone there, but this desk also has its own cameras and microphones. So I got a microphone here, camera behind the teleprompter, camera there, camera there. What I want for my stream is I wanna be sitting over here at the mega stream desk where I run the main portion of my stream. Probably should put some pants on. But I wanna be able to just turn around, go over to this desk, push one button, and then my main OBS switches to this setup. So it uses this camera here, this camera here, this camera, and my gameplay. The question is, how do I send the video feed from all those cameras and my gameplay over to this PC? The solution is the Elgato 4KX. This video is sponsored by VIP SCD Keys. If you've been looking for ways to save money because you just blew all your money on buying a second PC for your two PC streaming setup, you can get a Windows 11 Pro key for as little as $21 or two for both your PCs for $42. Just make sure to use the code NUTTY at checkout to get 30% off. And if you wanna save even more money, you can just get a Windows 10 key and then upgrade those keys to Windows 11 completely for free. Windows 10 keys go for as low as $15. You can use a secure payment method like PayPal, They'll send you over an activation code. You put that into your Windows settings and then you're good to go. Check them out in the link down below. So I know there's a ton of videos on this capture card already. And honestly, I didn't want to make a video about this if I was just gonna be reading out the spec sheet because I'm not trying to give you guys an engineering lesson. But I think I'm using this capture card in a very unique way that I haven't seen a lot of people do before. I'm not just trying to capture my gameplay from my gaming PC. I'm also trying to capture three other cameras and a microphone. So how am I able to send multiple video feeds over a single capture card? So here's what I did and I think it's pretty genius. My gaming PC also has an OBS install setup. However, I'm not actually streaming from here because remember the whole point of a two PC setup is to offload all of the encoding and rendering to a second PC. So your gaming PC can focus on just gaming and then your streaming PC can focus on just streaming. The only reason why I have OBS open on my gaming PC is so I can send the video from my cameras and the gameplay over to my streaming PC. So I've set up a 4K canvas, which is exactly four times 1080p. And so what that allows me to do is I can position all of my cameras and my gameplay in each of the four quadrants. Now, if you only have one camera and one monitor, like regular people do, you can just set up a two times 1080p canvas, but I have multiple cameras, so I set up four. Okay, so we got an OBS set up here. How do I get that video over to the streaming PC? 
And this is where the Elgato capture card comes in because this is a 4K capture card. So I can theoretically capture up to 4K 144 Hertz. So what I did was I took an HDMI cable, plugged one end into my GPU of my gaming PC, plug the other end into the HDMI in of the capture card, then I just took a USB cable and plugged the capture card into my streaming PC. The 4K X also has an HDMI out so you could feed the signal back into your monitor, but I didn't even use the pass through. You'll see why in a second. Back in the gaming PC, if you go into your display settings, you'll see another monitor. That's the capture card. I don't even have a 4K monitor, but I can still set up this fake 4K monitor. So now in OBS, all I have to do is right click the canvas, do a full screen projection onto that 4K monitor. And if you can see where I'm going here, I can go back to my streaming PC, go to my OBS setup, add a video capture device, find the Elgato 4K X, and there you can see everything coming from the gaming PC. Now, all of the video feeds and my gameplay are stuck together as a singular source, which is not exactly what we want because we wanna be able to position the cameras and the gameplay independently of each other. So I went ahead and chopped up that capture card source into four individual sources. And the way I did that was I just created a source clone of the capture card four times. And then for each of those clones, I added a crop filter to crop out the part of the feed, which we didn't want. And from here, we could just lay out our cameras and our gameplay however we want without worrying if it's gonna affect our gameplay because all of this is happening on the streaming PC. But what about the audio setup? Like I said, the gaming PC has its own microphone, its own desktop audio, game audio. So how do I get all of that audio over to the streaming PC? It turns out Elgato made a pretty thoughtful update to their Wavelink software. You are now able to send audio from Wavelink to any Elgato capture card. So if you look under the stream mix section, there's an option to send the stream mix to another hardware device like a capture card. So I can control all of my audio levels in Wavelink, send that over to the stream mix and my streaming PC will pick all of that up. But this audio setup does have its complications. It's very convenient, but there are some issues. The most obvious one is you're gonna need an Elgato mic or a Stream Deck Plus connected to your gaming PC to get access to Wavelink, which in my opinion, fucking sucks. I feel like if you bought Elgato's capture card already, you should automatically get access to Wavelink or if you bought any other Stream Deck for that matter. I really hope Elgato does something to make Wavelink more accessible to more people because I really like the software. It just sucks that you're locked down to Elgato's hardware. Maybe you can offer a one-time payment option just for the software or at least make any Elgato capture card owner or Stream Deck owner give them access to Wavelink. The second and arguably more important issue is if I have my headphones plugged into my gaming PC, I can't hear anything coming from my streaming PC. So I can't hear my alerts, I can't hear any sound effects. It's really easy to send audio from the gaming PC to the streaming PC, but not so much the other way around. There are other options like voice meter that allow you to send audio both ways between your streaming and gaming PC. Frankly, I don't like any of those options, but maybe I can make a YouTube short explaining how to do that if you want. But for the time being, this is probably the simplest and most effective two PC setup that I could come up with. It's pretty clean. There's only one physical cable connecting the two PCs. If you don't have a capture card, Let's be honest, you clicked off this video a long time ago as soon as you found out you need to spend money. But it is possible to skip the Elgato capture card altogether. I have a separate video on how to set up a dual PC stream completely for free. You do get like one or two seconds of latency, which is not my favorite, but I'll leave a link up here if you're interested in watching that video. But anyway, uh, thanks. See you later.